over. Jalen Milrow often wears his own branded apparel reading LANK across the front. It's an acronym that stands for Let a Naysayer Know. Being told by his former offensive coordinator, that Bill O'Brien. That is not what I thought. Is that not what you thought? Boy, let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. <laughs> of course. The professional's right in the middle of his <laughs> lead. That's all right. I just keep I thought going. you almost lost me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Real tight up here, as you were. I was watching that. <laughs> <laughs> Reese, you were too smooth with that. I thought it was going down. I thought it was going down out here. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. That's what we thought the whole time. That's what we all thought. Those of us who are more pure in thought. Incredible moment on ESPN yesterday to bring in the new year. Long and short, Alabama quarterback Jalen Milrow, who we covered previously for this debacle. Shoot, you know, all my life, even when I was in college. Shoot, my own offensive coordinator, Bill O'Brien, told me I shouldn't play quarterback. So, you know, there's a lot of things I can... You know, had motivation on, and that is something I had motivation from. When former Alabama OC and current New England Patriots coach Bill O'Brien attempted to switch Milrow's position, a laughable offense. Well, it went viral, as did Milrow's shirt, as seen here with the letters L A N K. To me, what it means is just facing adversity and rising above it. Man, I feel like it means just believing in yourself more than anybody. Let them talk, let them think, but keep going. Letting everybody that doubt our team show that we're the best team in the nation. Blank to me personally means how many people can doubt you. And you just show them wrong every time. Roll Tide! All the boys face a whole lot of things, what they could not be, and what they weren't going to be able to do. And for them to be able to rise above it, that's what that link means and it's really to the core. Last year they just telling us what coach wasn't going to be able to do, the team, the dynasty was over with, and not understanding that Alabama is the standard. And for our boys to be able to have that length and be able to push them forward, it means a lot to us. Roll, Roll Tide! 34-17 Bama. Roll, Roll Tide! tide. You already know. 31-24 Alabama. Roll Tide! ESPN's hilarious on-air moment came at the Rose Bowl where Alabama would take on and eventually lose in OT to Michigan. Though, the shirts for Milrow and DB, Terry, and Arnold were sold as part of NIL. They'll likely get a boost now from all this. Milrow, who's returning for another season at Alabama, told the Tuscaloosa News, LANK was something we built in the offseason. We came in as one unit to think of a motto to push our team. There was a lot of doubt throughout the offseason. We came together and made that our motto this year. More from the outlet and Austin Kurtwright. On December 21st, Alabama announced all players on the roster have the ability to profit off their NIL in conjunction with LANK, creating merch that includes specific players' likeness. There's also an official LANK merch pop-up in Pasadena, California for the Rose Bowl. LANK merch is launched through Athletes Thread, a brand that helps college athletes create NIL merch stores. AthletesThread.com has a ton of of Lank merch available for sale from tees to hoodies, including the motto on the front and more on the back. Arnold would chime in on Lank. I feel like with all the adversity we've endured and coming together as a team, it was something that united us. And it was another thing that just brought us closer together, especially with everything we've seen with the criticism in week two. Us really buying into the Lank, it was something to me and Milrow wanted to give the team as a gift. Look them all the way. Crazy. Yeah, they going to get blown out talking. Us, the motto even reached Jalen Hurts of the Philadelphia Eagles. The people who we partner with at Athletes Thread, they do a great job of reaching out to different guys in the NFL. And they were more than eager to wear them, Arnold said. We appreciate their support and are very grateful for them. While Milrow and many Bama players have indeed used a lank as a rallying cry this season, a quick social media search shows that naysayer appears to be a stand-in for another word. So in essence, you had McAfee and Galloway and Des Howard listening to Reese Davis's read, wondering where he was heading with it, knowing that the more well-known version of lank involves the racial slur. There's a few points here. The first is, this is the Pat McAfee effect. It will be trying at times. It may get on some people's nerves. But what he will do is lighten the mood. Certainly. 
What he will do is bring a humoristic aspect to the show that it's been lacking for some time. Second, is anybody going to really say anything like this on that set other than Pat McAfee? I mean, Kirk Herbstreet is, at this point, somewhat of a dinosaur, respectfully, when it comes to sports media. He's been there for decades. He is the ultimate like corporate company man, so much so that he caught heat last year. I believe it was last year, if not two years ago, when he said players should not get paid no matter what. And he received a firestorm of backlash, but it shows where he is. Third, and lastly, that might have not even been the best moment, though I think it was. Desmond Howard dropped the B word and said, might have to choke a B, of course, in a humorous tone. How I view this is... um, bringing a different and fun perspective and just keeping the whole mood light, which sometimes runs, I would say, counter to what ESPN does. And it's probably why they've lost some viewership over the years. Nonetheless, I thought it was hilarious. If they want to send me a link shirt, go for it. We could throw a sticker up here on the shelves. Uh, And yeah, appreciate everybody tuning in. Hope you had a good New Year.